How well, hello, and welcome to another two minutes. And this one, and please do bear with me, is on air screws, otherwise known as propellers, and specifically of the wooden variety. So, there are three types of wooden air wooden air screws which are being produced by 1944, and these are all refined versions of what was being produced in the 1920s. So, you have the Weybridge blade. Uh, a blade made by the air screw company is carved frail and blank glue from boards of Douglas fir scarf joined at the root end to jigwoods or to similar in compression supplied by firms in the United States. Then there's the Hagelin blade. The Hagelin blade is manufactured by Horden Richmond Aircraft Ltd. One thirty-six inch birch veneer is coated with approximately 20% of fromvar, a polyvinyl, a polyvinyl formal, by weight. After the solvent, tricyclorine and alcohol, has been driven off, the veneer is preserved into panels of specific gravity, 0.95, at the elevated temperature, and then cooled in the press. Two corners of the board are trimmed off, and that, and that end is then further compressed sideways to a specific gravity of 1.3. The final board thus has a high density double compressed root, a transition zone, and a medium density blade and tip. After rough patterning, several boards are assembled into a blank with a cold setting unreformidized un glue, and a blank is carved in the same way as the Weybridge blade. After several coats of primer containing the chlorinated rubber and of form var varnish have been applied, a brass leading edge strip is riveted and screwed in place. About 14 additional coats of form var complete the blade. Yowza, that's a lot. And the Jablo blade. Um, veneers, no, it, it's veneer made of veneers, 0.6 millimeters or one and quarter, 42 inch, 142 inch thick, and of varying length, are interleavened with phenomic resin and fine glue and assembled in such a way as to give the boards of 69 piles at the root and 48 at the tip. The assembly is impressed to a uniform thickness at a gradually increasing temperature, reaching a maximum of about 280 degrees Fahrenheit. The boards are really profiled and then assembled with casing glue. Carving is done by machine, followed by manual final carving. Yes, they get a lot. In fact, these are critical units. We don't think of wooden air screws of wooden propellers in World War II, but they're still critical in World War II, and they're especially critical in the interwar years. These are some of the finest propellers you can get, and some of the most reliable and most durable for sea operations and for land. Because they don't have little bits of metal inside of which rust. Or need preserving with very complicated means from salt water. Although they still need to be looked after properly. And, but they are quite easy to prepare. As you can see, there is a Blackburn Shark pictured. And that's a special aircraft because that is the Blackburn's development. F starts off with the M130 project uh, and eventually becomes the Blackburn equivalent to the Swordfish. Swordfish wins, but you can see the similarities between the two as they try to achieve a similar mission uh, statement and specification. Both cool aircraft. Both with very cool names. <laughs> 